Yo, Spado, man. What's up? <laughs> happy to be here, man. Philly all the way to Queens, man. I'm just happy to be here. It's sure. problem, man. Life, man. Life's good. I ain't gonna complain about too much of nothing, you know? What good is that gonna do? Right, right, right. Yo, man, um, I want to ask you, where does the name Spado come from? Where, how did it originate? Like, where did that? My real name is Asa. So growing up, people used to call me Asa Spade. Oh. Ace of Spade. Then people just started calling me Spade, and then you know, people Spado, and then it just evolved over time. People just calling me that. That's all. Oh, 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 oh. And I know you're from Philly. Um, what part from Philly? I'm from North Philly. North Philly. Like how 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 was it growing up? I was rough, you know. I mean, it's the inner cities of America, but you know, when you get accustomed to certain things, you just get used to it. You know what I mean? And it's uh. It was tough, but you know, if if I didn't come up the way I came up, I'd be a different person. You know what I mean? And I'm proud of who I am. So, right, right. You know, I know because um, me coming up from New York, um, I always heard like Philly was gritty, like you know, rough, and it's like it was pretty bad. And I know New York was bad, but like I want to give you like you know, I want you to like give me like a little description about Philly and how it was like, you know, when you was coming up. I mean, it's uh. It's a rough place to live, and it's a uh, you know it's a pretty violent city. But yeah. I think it's all about perspective. You know what I mean? Because as much as the bad stuff, it was a lot of great things that happened in the you know what I mean in the inner city and and you know in the ghettos of Philadelphia. So I don't, I don't like the the focus on the crime and the nonsense and the shenanigans. Like you know when you're there and you're living it in the moment, you kind of be oblivious to some of that stuff. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. And um, I know you did a lot of time in the pen, right? Did sneakers have like a lot of influence in there? In, in the pen, like for, cause in New York, for me, I like I grew up, like I did a couple of little, you know, short little time, three right, right, right. years. Mm -hmm. And I grew in love with like New Balance. Shit, three years ain't no short time. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Compared to you, shit, you, yeah, you yeah, did a decade, yeah, but, right? Hey, man, three you days know? And I know long. a couple of dudes who did a couple of decades, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, shout out to sure. Duke, China Mac. You know, sure. Chip, they all did like decades. So, sure. I'm, you know what I'm saying? That's a long time, For you know? Sure. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it changed, like, the way you think, the way you move. It better. Right, right. <laughs> you won't come out, whether you won't come out better or come out worse, you're definitely not coming out the same. Mm. You know what I mean? You're right. not coming out the same because you've been living in an inhumane circumstance for a long period of time. You're not going to come out the same. Yeah. You know, just unfortunately, some guys come out worse. You know what I mean? It's a mental health aspect to it, too. You know what I mean? That people don't understand, you know what I mean? That when nobody understand, you couldn't understand if you, uh, unless you've been there and been through it. You know what I mean? It's like if mm -hmm. I tried to sit down and write a book about, you know what I'm saying, about it, you may, the same guy might have did the same amount of time, but his experience and his way of dealing with it was different than mine. So you can't, you know, it's not like one box. Mm. But yeah, the sneaker thing was, you know what I mean? Like, what, well, well, yeah, like, how People what, like, like to be I, fresh, you know what I mean? Yeah, don't change like, even in there. <laughs> you right. want to be fresh in there. But what, what influence did Philly have in the sneaker game? Like, what was, like, the big thing for Philly? Like, New York was, like, uptown. Yeah, you like, know? uh, like, like, it's like a. Or, like, in like, New York, like, everybody was Air Force Ones. Right. And in Philly, we wore Air Max 90s. Air Max 90s? That was our thing, you mm. know what I mean, in Philly. And then we have you on. We have you with New Balances. Yeah, you know I see I mean? you wearing the New Balances on, and I, I, yeah. Yeah, 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 man, I see you, know. Come on now, great yeah. minds think alike. But anyway, New Balance, I mean, you know, and people say New Balance is a DC thing, but I don't know, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, because in Philly, we always been big on 990 New Balances, right. as long as I can remember. Right. And, uh, you know, Air Force Ones are big now, but before we was, uh, it was real Air Max 90s and types of stuff. Philly is really kind of like, you know, I don't think just Philly. I think everybody, the whole culture, because Adidas even made a big comeback. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? The Yeezys. Yeah, but I mean, even the regular Adidas, the... Uh, Superstars? The, yeah, the, the track Adidas that people wear with the, the, the Adidas tracks, mm -hmm. and you know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah, that's a... They, you know, all the, it's, it, it, and then Meek opened Puma back up for everybody. Right. You know what I mean? And Puma then threw that hat back in the ring, and these was, you know, years ago, these... Nobody would wear that crap, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But they made a comeback, so. What's you know the you know the first time I um saw you it was at the Shady spot, right? At right, the right. Shady Records or uh, uh, the Shade Four Five Radio. Shade Four Five Radio. Right, right, right. And um, I remember you had the New Balances on at that time. Mm-hmm. And then when I posted up some sneakers, right, on my Instagram, I had like six pairs. Mm -hmm. You chose 
New Balance is again. I, for my money, New Balance is the best sneakers. You yeah. know what I mean? They're comfortable. You can dress them up, dress them down. They got a million different looks. They got a million different degrees and levels. You know what I mean? You know, I'm, I'm a big New Balance guy. You know what I mean? And not just me saying it. You, you see me looking at my posts and my pictures. Most of the time, I got on New Balances. You know what I mean? Right, right. And, um, you know, and this is from the show. And this is one of my favorite parts, you know what I mean, of my show. Uh -huh. And I know you, you know, you did the time. Stood tall, you're an OG, you opened up the doors for Philly, all those new rappers, you yeah. name them. It was because of the major figures, it was because of y'all. Yeah. And I really appreciate it, like from the bottom of my heart. They worked hard too. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll um, you know, Philly, them. you know, yeah. And um, I, I fucked with Philly hard. Yeah, we were right talk. down the street. Yeah, yeah, right down the street, neighbors. And, um, and I fucked with your story, Ooh. and I, I fucked with you, how you doing. And um, I got this special sneaker, Salihi. Bumberry, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready to lick the bottom of these. Ooh, yo, Salee, Bumberry, yo, he, this guy, I think he worked, started working with Cole Haan and um, Payless, was like a designer for all of them or something like that. And then now he worked with Easy and he worked these with these joints um, is crazy. New I'm gonna just sit on top of my head for a second. This shit is hard, these right? These joints is crazy. Oh, I knew you was gonna. Fucks with this, cause I fucks with it. I had to go through all types of things. I had to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You got a real plug. You got these. You know what I mean? And um, this is for you, brother. Oh, that's a gift for me. Look, check the different color shoe strings out. Hard. Stop playing with my guys, man. Stop Hard. playing with from the soul, man. Yeah. Yeah. Stop playing with my guys from right here, the soul. Yep. It's everything's from the soul, man. It's you, my you guys, I mean? man. I appreciate it, man. Nah, I appreciate you too, man. I appreciate it, man. These one pair, I know, I ain't gonna never see nobody wearing these. Not nobody in Philly. Right. Dope. <laughs> nah. My guys, nah. appreciate you, man. Nah, I appreciate man. you. I like them, man. I'ma have to. I'm gonna yeah. have to really put some stuff together with these. Oh yeah, you seen like you seen the the end? Look at the end that That's has what pops I'm saying. out. That blue. Yeah, it's different. Like yo, this that guy blue. he killed it. Ooh. One of my favorite New Balances top five of all time, and you my top five of all time in Philly. Oh, I appreciate that, man. You know what I'm saying? And I might um, got little blue strings in there. That might put me top three. If I put the blue <laughs> strings in these, I might make the top three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, that's beautiful, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate y'all so much. You know what I mean? From the soul, but this yeah. from the heart, man. I appreciate y'all having me. I met Tiger and Shady 4 5, and yeah, man, him clicked knowledge. up and he with said, knowledge. Yeah, Shout yeah, out to we kicked it, and he says, hey, you know, you won't cut anytime. Whenever you're ready, you call me, I'm coming through. You know yeah, what I mean? Yo. And he, uh, he said, I'm going to have a gift for you, but I wasn't expecting these. So thank you, man. I appreciate you. Yeah. Man. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate yeah. the fellas, man. Everybody. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean? My homie doing bad, he got hooked on them painkillers. He still shoot from the logo like Dame Lillard. Some black girl magic, some dope boy magic. Grew up watching my brother with a dope fiend habit. It hurt to know he had it. Fuck it though, he had it. Warm Miami Nights, D.O.T., Big Paddock, they like Spade got them jaws on. Got on, put my balls on. Watch who you put your paws on, the hood is a war zone. Home of the hustlers, Philly known for the hustlers. The line around the block crack alone on the customers. Still in the kitchen with the bosses. The work was bad. We took a couple losses. We paid the line no matter what it cost us. He loved us so he tossed us anything we want, but still I move cautious. Haters make them nauseous. Sometimes when you get on, you got off shit. To catch a major play, you got to moss shit. Spade up. 